Episode 3 of the Swedish HBO original Bear Town is now out. This episode really continues the tension that was set up in the previous one, but is it enough to keep the show exciting? This is a spoiler-free review of episode 3, but will contain some spoilers from the previous episodes. If you are looking for my spoiler-free review of those earlier eps, I've linked them in the description below. Also, if you're curious about a new munchie I found, stay tuned toward the end of the video. In the last episode, we saw the team prepare for a big game and also get introduced to a young but super fast player, Amat, who's a new addition to the team. Not only is Amat valuable to the team and the players, but he becomes integral to the drama that is about to play out. In addition to the drama we see on the ice amongst the players, there's also drama with the parents and their overbearing attitudes towards Peter. There's also a mysterious job offer that Mira receives, but we don't really know what it was, and then she turned it down. So that whole portion of the story was pretty pointless and then undramatic. At the climax of the episode, we saw a pretty harrowing scene of sexual violence. Maya is assaulted by Kevin at the party following the hockey team's win. While he's raping her, Amat walks in on them, and he sees the look in Maya's eyes and knows that she's in trouble. But then he just closes the door and walks out. Episode 3 finds us in the aftermath of the party. And not only is there all the chaos and mess that needs to be cleaned up inside Kevin's house, but Maya is obviously left hurt and devastated. We see how that attack on Maya really affects her, her relationships, and even her outlook on the world. Miriam Ingrid, who plays Maya, gives a really convincing performance, and I felt for the character. At the same time we see Maya hurting, we watch Kevin brush it all off and do his best to act like nothing's happened. I like that there is still some conflict in his eyes, though, that he's not just gone all full psychopath yet and is experiencing a bit of grief and remorse. But I also think that those emotions are more out of a fear of being found out than actually of what he did. We really get to see how unsupportive and mean high school can be. Most of the teens, and then the hockey players in particular, are believing the hype about themselves. How they're held up like these mini ice gods who have the ability to save the town with their agility and prowess. The pressure players put on each other to conform to the manly ideal and also to think of the team above all else, I found it upsetting. There are some pretty sickening scenes with emotional manipulation too. And it's not just between the players, but between the players and adults, and then also between the adults. This entire show is kind of a slow burn, but with the attack in the last episode, the drama does continue to increase. We know that some sort of eruption is coming. And is it going to be from Maya? Will Kevin fess up to what he did? Is Amat going to say something? Or will it be something else entirely? The last seven-ish minutes really crank the screws and make for a great climax to this episode. I love the emotion that we see throughout this episode. I mean, obviously there is sadness and hurt, but there are characters that are going through their own internal turmoil, and it's satisfying to watch. Eh, you know, most of the time at least. There's also a choice that has to be made in this episode, and because of some previous scenes, I was not sure how it was actually going to play out. I was really nervous that something was going to be favored unjustly. So overall, I enjoyed the way the episode played out, and I like that more and more tension is building. I also appreciate that amidst all of the hockey bro brigade mentality, there is a sensitivity that is also shown, even if it's only in small ways right now. So before I give my rating for this episode, I wanted to let you know about a pretty decent little munchie that I came across. Now I know for any of my international friends, this could be a little bit frustrating because I found this at a Trader Joe's grocery store. It's a dark chocolate salted caramel bar thin. And yes, it is really thin. It came in a three pack and two are already gone. I, I found them tasty. And the dark chocolate helps to cut the sweetness from the caramel. And then you have the salt, which just rounds it all out. I wish it was more of a substantial bar though, but this isn't bad for a quick snack. And while I got this thin bar at my local Trader Joe's, I did find something very similar that can be purchased from Amazon. It's still from Trader Joe's, but it looks like a full-size candy bar. I'll link it in the description if you need it. And just for transparency, I'm not making any kind of commission off this. I just wanted to let you know about something I found that was worthy of sharing. It's the dark chocolate salted caramel bar thin from Trader Joe's. Okay, so back to the rating. There's not really any sex, no nudity, some profanity, and a little violence. I give episode three of Bear Town three and a half out of five couches. So are you enjoying the series so far? Do you have a favorite character? Let me know what that is in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me. Now, because the review is over, I'm going to enjoy my caramel bar. Ooh, that 
It's got to sound terrible on this microphone. See, it really is thin, but it's delicious. Cheers.